Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi, guys. Webb's Heath. A hazy sunny day. Bit of a breeze. Just want to give this one more try. I had the wing twisted on it in the previous episode, so I've straightened it up. Uh, the effect of the twist of the wing was giving it quite a bit of um, left hand thrust on the uh, propeller, because the wing was twisted to the right. So I've straightened it up to see if that helps it fly. That's about a hundred turns. So. Struggled to go into the wind, didn't it? Although it did try and go straighter. Right, what I might try, Joshua Finn on his channel was showing how to sand these plastic blades down to make them thinner and lighter. If I remember, I'll put a link in the video description. Right, that wind's dropped for a second. that way a little bit further. I'll give it a bit more of a push. Too much of a push. Although I could try it away from the wind. Right, go that way. So we've got the wind behind us. Nah, that wasn't good, was it? Pushed it too hard, made it stall. Just adjusting the wings forwards and backwards, trying to change the glide. Don't seem to have a glide at all at the moment. Ah, that's obviously the wind picking it up. All right, one more try into the wind. Right, I'll 
try a lower launch angle. Uh, not bad. I think it might be worth trying to lighten that propeller. I could take the wheels off. That would lighten it quite a bit, but that will upset the centre of gravity. Well, so will lightening the propeller, obviously. Try something different. I'm going to try a high launch. That way. Bit allow for the wind so we don't go straight in the tree. Right, wind is behind us. I'm going for a high launch just to see what happens. Not enough power. Just hasn't got the power to climb like that. So we're back to more or less flat launch. It's tempting to put the second rubber band on to give us more power. Right, angled over. Basically, it's stalling, isn't it? That Ferrari. Right, two rubber bands. Certainly climbed better, didn't that? 80 turns, two rubber bands. That was more impressive, wasn't it? Right, two rubber bands, about 80 turns. I've lost track of it. <laughs> oh no. We're going to have to do one more now. I've lost track of it with a hat camera. Right. Wind's behind us. I'm launching it that way. So it should go round into the wind. <sighs> ah. 
that didn't work. Well, apart from the loop and twist on the climb, I actually faced into the wind at the end there. That didn't work. This time we'll try a bit of a right turn on the launch. Oh wow! <laughs> well there we go. Turned it a bit to the right instead of to the left, and we got a good flight. Well, good for what I was expecting, anyway. That'll have to do. Nanny's waiting. So, there you go, guys. Two rubber bands on it. I expect if we put proper hobby grade rubber band on it, it'd, or rubber, it would do all right. And if we sand down the propeller to make it lighter, it would probably help. But we did eventually get some sort of a decent flight out of it.